Okay, so now definition two. Uh, it's basically just reiterating what we just uh, learned. So definition two, the matrix vector product. Okay, so now this is defining an operation. So the product of a matrix and a vector of an M by M. So it's a matrix vector product of an M by N matrix and an N by one vector. Notice the N here, the number of columns, or excuse me, the, yeah, the number of columns matches the number of rows uh, here. So that's going to be important later on. But we have an M by N matrix and an N by one vector. The product of these two is given by this. Okay. You're going to take one, multiply it by the first column. Take C2, multiply it by the second column, and so on and so forth, and you'll get this matrix. Okay? It's called the, the, the matrix vector product. Okay, so now, um, application of a linear map is represented by the, ve the matrix vector product of the map's representative and the vector's representative. Okay, so now theorem one is not surprising because we chose the matrix representative in um, uh, in, uh, in the prior definition precisely to take the to make the theorem true. Okay, if the theorem were not true, then we would adjust the definition to make it so. Nonetheless. Um, we need the verification, okay? So we're gonna do some examples and we're gonna move forward.